laptop. This is my, uh, I want to do this video over again. This is my Beretta 380. Uh, it's called a Cheetah. And it's a shrunk down version of the um, Beretta 92. I, I haven't shot it at all. Never shot it. Uh, I hear, I don't know. I heard they're really good 380s. I couldn't tell you. But uh, I just wanted to give you a closer up close view of it and just show you what, what good shape it's in. It's in really nice condition. Um, I like the uh, love the grips. I love the medallion. Um, this was made sometime in like I, th I think like 2004. And it's the exact same design and operation of the 92. But it's not a 9 millimeter. It's only half the size and it's a 380. Uh, real nice carry gun. Uh, I've got a really good deal on it, I think, because it, it's like new. It's so, it's in such great shape. You know, when they, when they say, oh, you know, when you buy a car and it's in good shape, and they say, uh, she only drove it on Sundays, a little old lady to church. Oh, uh, this is pretty much that kind of thing. So, um, let's see here. It disassembles just like the 92. Just take the mag out. Try and do a little more up close because I want to show you the inside of the good shape this thing's in. Just push out like that. It's so easy to take apart. This goes right, it's going to slide right the hell off. Look at the undercarriage of this. This is the undercarriage of it. Let's switch the camera to micro so I can really show you how good condition this thing's in. Setting. I just want to show you now, if this gun had any use or any wear, uh, you would see some wear under the slide. Look at it. Okay. There is no wear at all on this pistol. The guide spring rod is steel, thank God, so I don't have to mess with that. And uh, this is the slide. There's the uh, Pietro Beretta. See that red safety indicator? I mean that is like that's that's the first stuff that stuff comes out real easy. I can see a little bit, see it? Starting to come out. Got a little black dot. But just show you the condition of this pistol is pretty much brand new. I don't see anything. Look at this side. Really, the machining and the detail on this thing is gorgeous. Check this out. So this is what I admire about pistol and firearms. Just stuff like this. You don't see much of this anymore. This kind of craftsmanship and work. Look at the stamping. Nice and nice and even it is. Even on the barrel. See if it even get that close. No, I can't. Come on, there you go. Okay, caliber nine short, 380. There's the uh, chamber indicator. There's not a mark on it. Okay. Sights, not a mark. It's the end of the barrel. Unbelievable, huh? And then uh, here's the frame. It's beautiful grips. Look at that. No scratches. Since you buy a used gun, this is what I look for. I look for little scratches and, and 
no dirt inside the screw holes, but that's just dust. But this is where wear shows first places on the slide release and the thumb safety on the edges. That's where you'll see it. And there's none. Now look at the guide rails. You would think there'd be some uh, wear on that. Nowhere. Just dirt. A little dirt there. Dust. But no no metal peeking through the bluing. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. There's a good shot. The gun was unfired. Wasn't used at all. Okay, it's the 85 series. 85 Cheetah. Here's the other grip, there's the medallion. Hey, there's a go. Beautiful grips. Like I said, there's only one blemish, it's right here. But you can get that with a uh, stain magic marker. You ever see that? It looks like a magic marker, but it's stained. That'll take care of it. Here's where you'll see where I'm going to use the gun, right on the corner. Or it's or the back grip, or it's, you know, nothing, man. Not a damn fucking thing. Look at this. Especially here, you would see where. Nothing. Uh, magazine. I love these kind of magazines. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple friends that you know we disagree, uh, and we agree. One guy says he don't like when the magazine bends over and has a skirt on it. I completely disagree with him. Sorry. When you have a follower that bends over and has a skirt, they're, they're the best magazines that there is. If you ever notice real high quality magazines, 99 out of 100 of them, the, the follower is bent over and goes down. It keeps it, it keeps it from tilting. Okay? So I don't understand how you can say uh, a magazine follower without a skirt that's bent over is better than I don't get, I don't I can't I don't understand that. But everyone's got their own thing, but from my experience, all the guns I've had and all the years I've been shooting, I had guns. Uh, I mean, even Wilson Combat magazines. I mean, that's one of the best 1911 you can buy. Has a bent over follower. And it keeps it nice and straight. Beautiful magazines. As you can see, no wear. I just wanted to give you a close up look at that. You know? Well, this is officially a boring video. Oh boy, unless you own a Beretta Cheetah. And, uh, we're all still. We're all Still ain't familiar about how to uh, run this thing yet, but it's uh, I still ain't got it down to uh, putting it back together. You push this down, push the frame down. I mean the frame, the slide down. Push this button in and snap, just like a 92, and then it's all back together again. Christ, that's the that's easy, man. That's um, I don't know, man. You don't have to pull the trigger or anything. I mean, that's this is even easier to disassemble than a Sig, and the Sig's probably got the as far as disassembly, it's probably got the uh, reputation of being the most easiest gun to disassemble. You know. There's the inside of the chamber and the feed ramp. Beautiful, man. This is a used gun. You believe that? Got this thing cheap. That's going to be my 380 and dry fire it. And it has a magazine safety, so you can't dry fire it. You can't pull the trigger unless the mag's in the gun. A lot of people don't like that. That don't bother me. I understand. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that condition of that. I'm going to dry fire it. There ain't a mark on this thing. Another place to check for where's the hammer back here. There's nothing. I love this. I hope this one sticks around. I think it's one that's that's going to stick around. I'll be carrying this 
anyone owns a cheetah like this um, like I don't have a holster for it yet but uh, because of the design and how thick it is and everything uh, it seems to fit into a 1911 holster very nicely now I'm not talking about a plastic 1911 holster because that's specifically formed to a 1911 but if you have a leather holster for a 1911 this fits in there perfect even if it's semi formed to it doesn't matter this will fit in there nice so if you have a 1911 uh, holster and you plan on getting a cheetah and if it's a leather holster uh, this will fit in there fits in there nice so there it is my Beretta cheetah and I want to I'm happy to announce that the shirts are all packed up they're ready to go and uh, there was no uh, no shirts missing like I had enough smalls, extra larges, whatever, whatever everyone ordered, it's there. You know, the company's real good. They, they're really thorough, thorough. So they're all packed up. I got them all labeled. They're all. F I got three boxes of, sh of shirts uh, upstairs in my bedroom. Um, tomorrow morning, I will bring them to the post office and ship them out. Now they're coming regular mail, so give it time. I can't afford to ship them fast because. I ain't gonna make any money if I do that. So you gotta wait, that's all. You gotta wait. But they're a unique design, they're really great quality, and they last a, a long, long time in the washer and dryer. You don't have to worry about it. So uh, if you order a shirt, uh, it's on its way. It's going out this week, in the middle of this week. So I would give it at least to the end of next week. Now if you live in California or Hawaii or all that shit, give it like good three weeks, man. It takes long sometimes. Alright? Alright, talk to you guys soon. Hope you like this boring video.